So what is Robar? If in your medical device and pharmaceutical environment today you are printing labels that you attach to pouches, to boxes, to shippers, or to product, you have a label design function where you design the look and feel of a particular label. And if you're more advanced than many of your colleagues, you have a database associated with this. And you take the data from this item database and you merge it with the template and you print your labels. These labels are often individual files like Word documents that are sitting in folders somewhere out on your network. And you're always hoping that the print operator picks the right one when they go to print a label. And you're hoping that the data is correct and that it wasn't changed without the knowledge of the regulatory and QA department. What Robar does is it brings all of this under control. It takes access to the label template files away from people. It introduces version control so that you can be printing one version of the template in production while you're working on a more recent version of the template in an offline capability. And all of the changes that you make to both the content and the templates are recorded. Who did what, when, and how. And then when you're satisfied with the outcome of the data, and the outcome of the templates and the end result, then Robar enables a seamless method for pushing a button, creating a PDF of the data and the template merged together, and then routing that electronically through the enterprise for electronic signatures. So you can get your marketing department and your regulatory group and your legal people looking at these templates and data before they go out to the customer. The interface that the print operator sees in Robar is a browser screen. They go in, they say, I want to print a label out of Robar. They log in with a password and they are recorded that they have logged into the system. And at that point, all they really need to do is scan a barcode of a work order number or of a lot number. And because it's a controlled, validated system, the simple entry of that information pulls up the correct version of the item, the correct version of the template, and it prepares it for printing. And within Robar, you can click on a button that says, show me the approved master of this label. So then the operator can print a test label, can bring up the approved master of the label, compare the two to make sure that they have the right information and the right formats, and then they print. All of the information is logged in the audit system and the print history. So three years from now, they can come back, they can put in that work order number, or more likely at that point, the lot number, and bring up evidence of the printing of that label three years prior. And because all of the data is versioned and controlled, they can reprint an exact image of that label from three years ago if the box is damaged and needs to be re-sterilized or repackaged. In short, it is total and absolute control, auditability, electronic signatures, and mitigation and minimization of data entry at print time. Each of these components are points of failure in today's systems, which through experience and through uh, creation of a robust system, we have helped eliminate. That's what Robart is really about.